Hey, this is the master mentalist Eric Dobell, and today we're at the Tennessee Legends Distillery out here in Sevierville, Tennessee. This is the master mentalist Eric Dobell, and I'm here today with Kyle at Tennessee Legends. Hey, how are we doing guys? Uh, just excited to hang out with Eric here and have a good time. So here at Tennessee Legend, uh, we've kind of tried to make a name for ourselves, uh, just like those moonshine legends of old. You know, here in the Smokies, we've grown up hearing about these tall tales, you know, these legendary figures, these legendary, like, animals and creatures that live out there. And of course, moonshiners have always been a part of that heritage, too. From the, uh, the moonshine heritage of the Forbidden Caverns to uh, just the backwoods people sipping on their back porch. And that's uh, the kind of attitude that we bring, and we want to be legends in our own right. And we try to do that through each of these bottles hanging out here. Back here we have our wonderful, wonderful shelves doing a great job showcasing all of our products. We've got our moonshines here up front, of course, starting with our traditional white light and moonshine. Uh, our three flavored shines come next. Uh, those are the, uh, the original products that we started out with here. Uh, moving next, we have our wonderful cream liqueurs. Now, these we do with a real Wisconsin dairy, so it is real cream on that. The flavors are top notch. You gotta stop in and try when you get a chance. After those, we have some of our other styles of spirits. We have our white rum and our vodka. Uh, we get a lot of requests from people uh, for products like that, so we started doing those uh, for our locals and our fans. And then next, of course, our flavored whiskeys. Uh, always, always fan favorites, including our absolute number one seller is our salted caramel whiskey. People go nuts over this stuff, and uh, I've been known to polish off a bottle or three or four from time to time. And uh, after that, we have our traditional cane break bourbon. Now, cane break is just another word for the timber rattlesnake. As you can see, our nice little snake hanging out on the label there. But it's just got a nice flash of oak bite with uh, a really smooth finish on that. Uh, we condition that in American white oak three char barrels. Uh, we just try to keep a lot of cool different heritage stuff on the walls like we have we have some awesome original art from around the area, just the various stills of Shining, and of course this really happy sheriff right here, happy to haul all those guys in and, and kind of take possession of some of that stuff, get it off the market. Uh, Shiners don't look too happy though, I wouldn't be either. Uh, we got these wonderful pottery shot glasses done by uh, local artisans. These metal signs are done by American All Well, just for us. Uh, they are wonderful, wonderful guys and gals, and everybody that does products for us just do a great job. And uh, if you look up above, we've got plenty of barrels sitting. I've uh, got some great product chilling and hanging out up there. Uh, carry all, all those up there by hand. Uh, I do not recommend it, though. It is a great workout. Do it your own risk. Believe me. My favorite part. This is the tasting bar. This is where all the fun happens. And so right here, this is where you can step up. All we need to see is a wonderful photo ID and you can do some wonderful sipping. I uh, just gotta make sure you're old enough. Uh, and uh, please uh, leave the kids at home. Come hang out, have a good time. But if you wanna bring the kids, they are welcome. We've got wonderful rocking chairs out front and around. Got plenty of stuff for them to look at. But uh, we, uh, we do try to keep just adults only fun time here at the tasting bar. All right, Kyle, we're going to try a little bit of a, of a mentalism here okay. with you. So what I'm going to have you do, first I want you to think of a word. Okay. Okay, do you have one in mind? Yes. Uh, and a simple word, too. Some of those are less than say. Okay. Do you have one? Perfect. Okay. So right now you're thinking of a word. Mm -hmm. And before we get to that, I want to try something actually using uh, some of the drinks okay. that I pulled offline. So I made a list here, and on this list I have six different drinks that you guys sell. I have vodka, just vodka. Sure. We have uh, coffee moonshine, delicious. The root beer cream, which sounds really good. Mm -hmm. The grape moonshine, mm -hmm. uh, white lightning, mm -hmm. which sounds dangerous. No, it's delicious. It's my favorite. It's your favorite? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to try that one. <laughs> and then the salted caramel whiskey. Mm -hmm. All right, Kyle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put. I just put an X 
next to one of those six drinks. Okay. And then I pretend to put an X next to the other ones. Okay. So of course you don't know which one I put the X next to. I'm gonna count backwards from three. Okay. And then I'm gonna do this. Okay. When you see me do this, I want you to name one of those drinks. Okay. Three, two, one. Root beer cream. Root beer cream. Are you sure? Yes. Positive? I mean, sure. Yeah, why not? I just want to make sure because that's the one that I put it next next to. Oh, snap. What? In oh. fact, since that went so well, I think we should be able to do this too. You, uh, you were uh, thinking of a word. Yes. Correct. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Look at the word, or look at this blank side of paper. Okay. I want you to imagine the word right here written out. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? I can. Okay. Run my finger across it like this. Real big, real big, real big, real big. Starts with the letter B, is that right? Yeah. Yeah? And right next to the B, there's a A? Mm -hmm. M? No. First time out loud, tell, tell the camera, what, what was the word that you were thinking of? The word was banana. Banana? Banana. Banana! What? That's, that's really awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so uh, easily amused, but well, God, that's awesome. Thank you so much for, for doing this vlog with us today. Definitely. Be sure to visit Tennessee Legends next time you guys are visiting the area, and then afterwards be sure to come see Impossibilities at the Iris Theater. You want to give them the website real quick? Definitely. Uh, our website's www.tennessealegend.com, 870 Winfield Dunn Parkway, Sevierville, Tennessee, 37862.